Hi folks, Roland Martin here. Today's species is a largemouth bass, a big trophy fish. And our destination is Central Florida, Felsmere, Florida. In fact, I'm in Felsmere, Florida right now at the outdoor resorts where I stay. I got my little camper, I got my little shiner tank. And we're gonna catch trophy bass on shiners. Let me just show you a few shiners. Let's, let's just show you this, this is pretty cool. Look at these guys. These are shiners, big giant golden shiners. Let me get you a couple and I'll show you what I'm talking about. These are really cured out shiners, just the proper length. That's not a big one, that's just an average size one. I put it on the hook, a bigger one would be this one. Look at this guy. Some of these, some of these are bigger, bigger shiners and for bigger bass. Look at that. Ooh, some. That's about it. Some, okay, here's some more. Another six or eight, nice big lively shiners. They're just as lively as can be. I'm gonna put about five dozen or six dozen shiners in the boat right now that I caught yesterday. These are these are shiners that, that I caught myself in my in my cast nets. Okay, so what Pat's gonna do, he's gonna take these bags, and I got about five dozen shiners in there. Or six dozen. Lots of shiners. Good ones too. Good ones, good big old cured out shiners. I caught them myself. He's gonna put oxygen in there. And watch this, folks, it's pretty cool. He fills them up with oxygen. Hey, how about Pat, how, how good are those shiners in that bag for? How, how long uh, were they? Roland, they would last three, four hours, easy. Three or four hours. So I'm gonna put them in the bag, and see, I just got them out of the tank, and then when I get to the lake, I'll fill my, my uh, nice clean live well up with nice clean water, put a few little chemicals in there, hey, and we're ready to go fishing. He's bagging them up, he's putting a rubber band on the top, yeah, it's kind of like when you go to the, to the, the pet store and you get goldfish. They put them in a little bag, put some oxygen. And so that's what he does. He, his clients come in here and his customers come in. He bags up his shiners and they carry them to the lake. It's, it's the most convenient way to do it. It's the way yeah, to go. Good to go. And this will and and uh, last three or four hours like this in pure oxygen. And I have oxygen in the boat as well. So let's get started. I'm going to fill this one. Now I have... I have water going in there, nice clean water. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take half the shiners and put in both sides here. Okay, I'm gonna drop these down. Put those shiners there, and these shiners here. Okay, I got the shiners all split up, about half and half. And what this will do, these five dozen, see I go through a lot of dozen, I go through like 10 dozen shiners a day. I have more bait than anybody else on the lake because I catch my own bait, I, it's, it's free bait, I, I don't charge for it or anything. But the point is, if you have nice, lively shiners and plenty of them, you'll catch more fish. The beautiful thing about Headwaters Lake right now is that uh, there's 30 or 40 cars in the parking lot and uh, this place fish is large. You know, you could put hundreds of boats on here and not be bothered. I, I doubt if I'll have any, any competition in any of the places that I'm fishing. Uh, it's not, uh, it won't be too busy. And so there's plenty of places to fish. In fact, the beautiful thing about Headwaters, basically you can stop just about anywhere that looks halfway decent. There's so many canals and so many ditches and so many flats of, of hydrilla that almost anywhere is a potential spot to catch a bass. So you can stop so many places and catch so many bass. Every day, a different day. Every day, a different spot. It's, it's fantastic. Okay, folks, where we are now, we're in one of the 11 or 12 big, big open gravel pit areas of, of the head, Headwater Lake. And so I'm just kind of rotating around. If you look at the depth finder, we're in 20 feet of water right here. And if you, if you notice here, it's coming up right now. It's coming up to 10. There's some hydrilla right here. We're finally in the hydrilla right there. You can see the hydrilla. Okay, there's, there's hydrilla in the water. Okay, now what, what the significance of this spot is, is if you notice, as I drop in, I'm going to come in and back up a little bit. I go back in now. There's the hydrilla thing. Now it's start, starting to drop. And you have to see this depth finder because it's going crazy. And we're just in the hydrilla, just there. It just stopped. I look at this 12 foot, like I'm backing up now. It's 12. It's 12. It's getting 14. It's getting 14. 
and it go, it'll go all the way to, to 20 something. There's, some, there's actually some bait and fish down here that uh, I've probably scared it a little bit with the trolling motor. But if you notice this, it's going deeper and deeper and deeper. Now, people, people know that in the winter time, sometime in the cold weather, now see here's some big fish on the depth finder. Look at this. Now these, these could be, these could be garfish. They could be mudfish. They could be bass. And there's a bunch more fish on the bottom, and that could be crappie. It could be bait of different types, it, it, any, any number of things it could be. It's uh, 18 or 19 or 20 feet deep, so uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it could be crappie. But the point is, I'm seeing fish. And the, and the deal with, with that is, is if I see no fish, it means there's no bass. If I see all kind of fish like I'm seeing now, okay, some are bass, some are crappie, some are, some are garfish, some are, but at least there's an opportunity there. There's probably some bass. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a brand new way of catching them, free lining with light tackle right down here in this deep water. Let's get started. I have my favorite rod and reel. This is the uh, the uh, favorite series. It's a Emperor series, and it's a, a regular uh, favorite reel. Okay, 30 pound braid. I'm going to go a little light right now. You see, I'm in deep water, and I'm fishing. Uh, pretty open water. There's not a lot of grass or cover here. Okay. Let's get a shiner. He's a nice one. And I'm going to hold him backwards so that I can hook him the proper way. Okay. I'm going to hook him in the dorsal fin right here in the top. And come through, get the hooks. I'm going to throw him out not too far. And I, just a gentle little pitch. I don't want to hurt the shiner with a hard cast. Now he's going to swim away from me, and it's kind of like worm fishing. This is a whole different ball game. I got fairly light tackle, and remember the shiner is going to be pulling. So I mean, I'm going to feel the shiner go dunk, 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 and uh, so that's one issue. It's kind of hard to tell when they bite it, but usually when they bite it, they take off kind of fast with it, and you can pull back a little bit and give some pressure, and you'll you'll feel them actually pull. Look at him run. He's running. He's running. I'm going to tighten up on him slow and easy. It's lighten up and then set the hook like that. Kind of get him along. Okay, come on out of there. Come on out of there. Let's see what I got. Come on out. Come on out. He's right at the edge of the grass. There are lots of, lots of big fish. There's some small fish. Let's see what I got here, boys. Big old circle hooked fish. Yes, sir. That's a decent one. It's not real big. Hey, but it's representative of what's happening. And let me just show you how I hooked them. That's the important thing about this circle hook. Let's just show you what happened. I hooked them right in the corner of the mouth, exactly the way you're supposed to do it. In other words, as that circle hook, as that circle hook rotates, he had the shiner, and it's down in there as it comes, it pulls up and it pulls into that corner like that as it swims away. And that's the exact perfect way of hooking a fish. Now it's not a big monster bass, but it's representative of what a circle hook can do with a shiner. Okay, let's get started. Hey, and but that's a nice fish, don't get me wrong. Two and three pounds is always a good fish. But remember, we're shiner fishing and we're after a trophy. Okay, let's get another shiner. I don't like a real big shiner. Personally, I like a shiner. That's really too big. Well, I'm just kind of funny about shiners. I've, the other thing about having your own bait and catching your own bait is you can get just the perfect shiner. That's kind of the perfect shiner. That's just about the right size. So I'm going to come around and hold them gently. I don't want to stress them out. Take the hook, that's right here, and come through the dorsal fin right here. A little about a quarter of an inch into the into the fin, quarter of an inch. Okay. Okay. We'll see what happens. Drop it out there. Let it go back. Just kind of feed it out. Now you'll feel sometimes a sharp bite or sharp hit when he hits it. Okay. We're gonna do another another shiner on another rod. This time I'm going to use a little bit bigger hook, a little bit bigger bait, and a little bit bigger shiner. Okay, and I'm going to hook him in with a, this nice big circle hook right behind the dorsal fin, about a quarter of an inch down. 
right there in that bony structure. Okay, now I'm going to put my cameraman's rod out. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is this is a favorite rod and reel. This is the old Salty series. And I'm going to uh, throw it right behind the boat. I'm going to come right back to the back of the boat. And I'm coming right back past these power poles. And I'm going to throw it right back in that little spot back there. Now we'll watch it swim around and see what happens. Look at it, look at it swim around. <laughs> Good heavens. Going crazy. But he'll settle down. And sometimes with the floats, you get a big shiner on there like that. And people are getting mesmerized by the shiners and by the floats. And the floats are pretty good too. But uh, the floats don't always get the job done in this deep water. But I'm fishing the edge with the float. What I'm going to try to do when I get, get this thing under control is I'm going to try to get throw this float set up right to the edge of the hydrilla. About like that. That's about the edge of it right there. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. He blew at it. Blew at it. That's a fish knocking at the shiner. Okay, he's got it under. He's got it under. I'm gonna slowly tighten it up. Slowly tighten it up. Slowly get him. Okay, I got him. I got him, son. You saw how he busted it? Oh yeah, another couple pounds. Not real big, kind of small. Now that's the other thing. We we'll ca we'll catch a small fish here. And we've had three or four bites in just a few minutes. So what we might do. And see, that's again exactly what they're supposed to do. The, the circle hooks are supposed to come around like that one did, and he got the fish just exactly the right way. But because we're catching small fish, I'm only going to give this spot a couple more minutes. Because if we haven't, my general feeling is if you don't catch a big five or six pound fish in the, after the first four or five fish, maybe you're not in the right spot. So I've caught you know several fish now, and they're small. So maybe it's time to move, but let's try one more time. Let's try a little bit more. Something went down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now we're talking, folks. Now we're talking. We got big one now. Big boy coming in. Big bass. Big bass coming in. Yes, sir. Son, we got them. We got a big fish. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. I'm telling you, this is a quality fish. That's the, and we haven't had a lot of big fish yet today. We're just kind of getting started. But this is a nice one. That's a big old bass. Yes, sir. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a, that's a decent bass. Not the trophy that I really wanted to catch, but hey, nevertheless, good quality fish. I tell you, this headwaters, it produces an awful lot of good three and four and five and six pound bass. And that's just a good, decent quality bass. Hey, nothing wrong with him. Let's let him go to be caught again another day. Okay. We're going to try kind of a different pattern now. We've been trolling and we've been drifting and we've been fishing the deep canals, but now we're going to try the hyacinth edges and put the floats right up against the floating hyacinths. Now see what you have here. Those hyacinths are actually in deep water. Maybe it's five or six foot. It looks like it's all solid, but it's not. That's a canal right there, and there's five and six and eight foot water underneath that, that floating cover. Okay. Okay, folks, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do like an underhanded pitch. And that particular hyacinth point is a really good one. That's my favorite little spot along here. And what it is, is there's not any there's not any hydrilla packed on the side. It's real open under there. It sticks out a little bit farther. I kind of pitch cast it like that. Come on, bass. Oh, shit. That's a good one. Let's see if he's got it. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good bass. That's a good one, son. That's a good bass. That's a big one. We might have our big one here. The one we've been looking for. I don't know. Pretty awful big. Pretty big. 
Yes, sir, son. We got one now. It's what we that people come to Florida for. They come for these kind of, kind of fish right here. This is the kind they come for. This is the exact kind of fish we were talking about, fun. This is the big old giant. This is what it's all about, folks. Big old giant fish like that. Seven, eight pounds, son. Come to Florida, fish lively golden shiners, and son, that's the kind of fish you can catch. Big trophy bass. And you know they have a Florida trophy catch, and any bass that's over eight pounds, which I think this one is probably an eight pounder, what you can do is you can enter it in the Florida trophy catch. We'll get, they'll get the scale, we'll weigh the scale and show the weight of the scale with the photograph and you'll get a nice big certificate from the state of Florida and a hundred dollars worth of good gift certificates for Bass Pro Shop. So folks, hey, come to Florida if you want a trophy catch. You'll catch a giant bass like this, but try a shiner. We'll see you again soon.